Hello guys. I look really pale. Wow, is that the lighting? No, I am to be fair, really pale. I need to tan, but hello, hello. Welcome back to another video. How are we all doing? After my last video, I was highly requested to do a what I eat in a day. I've not done an updated what I eat in a day in quite a long time actually i love watching them you guys know that i love seeing what people eat i am that person that asks everyone what they're having for dinner so i thought i'd film another what i eat in a day it's currently quarter past eight in the morning i've got myself a big big mug of tea look at the size of this mug by the way i always have a big mug in the morning and two rich tea biscuits this is how i like to start my day normally i would have chocolate digestives but but I am actually tracking calories at the minute. In this video, I probably will be speaking about calories and mentioning macros and stuff. So if that is not for you, I will leave some other videos that I've got linked down below. But yeah, like I said to you in my last video, I'm taking my diet, not seriously, like I wouldn't say seriously, seriously is the wrong word, but I am more aware of what I'm eating. I go through phases, like I'm either on or I'm not so on. And currently I am on i'm on the ball now you guys know i do a lot of trading therefore my calories should be quite high like my goal is to shed a bit of body fat and to gain a bit of muscle that's the end goal of this i don't necessarily want the numbers on the scale to change yeah i took some before pictures and i'm hoping that the after pictures um will look ever so slightly different it's a long game this it's going to be a long game it's it's i guess whilst danny's away like that's probably my focus whilst danny's away i will go into some numbers with you so i got on the scales on monday and i was 136.2 pounds now 136.2 pounds in kilograms so for those of you that work in kilograms that's 61.7 kilograms here um and that number, like, not an issue, I'm absolutely fine with. I don't necessarily want that number to change. But I use an app called Renfo, which is really good. It, like, it syncs up with your scales and it tells you, um, can you see that? It tells you, like, your muscle mass, your skeletal mass. It tells you your body fat percentage. So, yeah, I love using this. I will also leave that linked down below for you guys. And then, obviously, my fitness pal. That is what I am using to track my food intake. So... I've set the goal a bit lower than actually it probably should be. I think it needs to be nearer 2,000, um, especially with the amount of training that I'm doing. I sat and worked it out the other morning. So I need to be sort of having anywhere between 1,900 and then on days when I've got like really, really hard sessions, you know, nearing like 2,300 calories. So 2,000 is the goal and a lot of protein i'm trying to get a lot of protein in my fitness power if you didn't know as well it's so good because you don't need to like search for food you can literally go on here and click scan barcode and then you scan the food that you're about to have and it literally comes up with it so i'm going to add my two rich tea biscuits on for this morning so that's 70 cows looks like that not really want to make big fancy meals as well so if you're not this might be a good video for you to get some just like easy cooking ideas stuff where you don't really need to like get out the recipe book or loads of ingredients um that really isn't for me i'm either a hello fresh girl or a really easy so simple to cook girl and that's what we're doing today but yeah i don't normally wait this long for my cup of tea so i'm gonna have this this is honestly like if i have to wake up an extra 15 minutes early in the morning to have my cup of tea i have to do it like i cannot go my day without having a cup of tea and two biscuits in the morning so i'm gonna have that now today is actually my working day but i'm not gonna sit in the house today i'm gonna go out to a coffee shop do my work this morning in a coffee shop and then come back for some lunch but yeah i really hope you enjoy this video i hope it gives you some inspo it probably won't give you inspo like my meals aren't really that bland and basic and boring and so are my snacks but i hope you guys enjoy it anyway okay just before i head out i'm gonna make something that will tie me over a little bit more than just two rich tea biscuits so i'm gonna make um just one of these protein bagel thins with some jam and peanut butter because I'm obsessed with jam and peanut butter together at the minute. Then I'm also going to make a snack just in a Tupperware box to take. Um, I'll probably just make some like fruit and yogurt or something just in case I get peckish because my issue is when I'm out and I get hungry, like I need to eat instantly. Otherwise it just all goes wrong. So I have to be prepared whenever I leave the house. Whilst my bagel's toasting, I'm quickly just going to make this. So I've just got a Tupperware box. And then I use the fat-free um, Greek style yogurt. Focus on Okay, that's how today's gonna go, is it? Lovely. 
I mean, to be fair, what did I expect? But yeah, I'm just going to take um, about a quarter of this. Yeah, I'm just going to pop some yogurt in here. That'll do. And then I am just going to throw some grapes in. <laughs> really not very exciting. One, two. Fruit, I literally eat as much fruit as I want. Fruit can fill you up and it's great for you. And then I've got these um, mango fingers which you probably saw in my last video that I actually bought. Um, let's chop this up. That's my bagel done. So that is that done and I'm just gonna pop a sprinkle of honey. Um, and then, yeah, I will probably have that literally in a few hours. Mm. I'm real so guys i do have a session today but it's not until this evening i thought i'd do my work first thing and then i will probably train it later today my bagel is ready and i'm just gonna pop on some peanut butter and jam i've already weighed this out before so i know roughly how much i need um and then how much to input on my fitness pal so that's like my i'd say like a pre-breakfast um just before i head out mm. Guys, if you've not tried peanut butter and jam together, I really suggest you do. Yeah, I'm going to eat this, pack this in my bag and head out the door, do some work and I will chat to you when I next eat. Forgot to add, I've just made my protein drink as well to take out with me. This is the protein that I use from my protein and I just pop it in my gym chart bottle. <laughs> my protein in my in gym chart. <clears throat> but yeah, um... I've always got this with me. I'll probably have like two of these today. But well, let's go do some work. I don't like these, you know. What? I don't. I really don't. I'm really a bit annoyed. Yeah. I'm tempted, but I feel like like a one-off, I wouldn't mind them. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Molly loves them, but I, yeah, I, I don't. The they're too big. Yeah. They give me a headache, yeah. and they slip off. Yeah. That's that. <laughs> <laughs> Send my piece. Yeah, yeah. She's not impressed. <laughs> for lunch now i'll probably stay at home because i just don't want to go back out in that um other than to train it later i am home to an asos parcel which always brightens the day i've actually got a wedding reception tomorrow evening so um i just ordered a few bits to try on for that guys i actually also got a parcel yesterday um which i'm going to show you because it's hilarious this parcel you won't believe what's in it um so you guys remember that video I did with Molly, the little like girl talk thing we did. Um, we were having McDonald's and we were doing McDonald's Monopoly at the start. <laughs> McDonald's have sent like gifting. I've been gifted by McDonald's. Like, no, what is, what is life? What is life? So we've got a McDonald's uh, water bottle. I mean, this is really sweet. <laughs> but, guys. <laughs> I don't know if this is very on brand for me. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> are we just going to go into town with our cheeseburger water bottle? Is that what we're doing? Um, very sweet. I'll, I might give that to my friend though. Um, and what else we've got? It's got some pens and a notepad. I'll, I'll keep these because a notepad and pens are always helpful. Hi Zoe, we absolutely loved your video playing the McDonald's Monopoly game and we wanted to send you over some exclusive Monopoly merch. Oh my god, also, sorry, full of like, full of things to tell you today. Um, 
Oh, I was going to put this on my Instagram story, but I didn't. But in my Pilates class yesterday, you will not believe who was there. You won't believe it, because I didn't believe it. So I was at Pilates. It was half an hour into the class. The class is 45 minutes. I thank God I was half an hour in before I realised this. Anyway, I looked opposite me, and then in the corner was this lovely petite looking lady. Um, gorgeous golden tan. Really just slim and beautiful. And I looked closer and I thought, no, it can't be. Michelle Keegan, guys. It was Michelle Keegan. It was fully our girl, Michelle Keegan. Um, I was looking at her for like five minutes out the corner of my eyes. So obviously I didn't want to just stare at her because she was there to do Pilates just as much as I was. But I was looking at her out the corner of my eye and I thought, is it? Like I couldn't, like in my head, I couldn't compute that it possibly could be. It obviously looked like her, but I thought it might've just been like a really good lookalike. Um, Anyway, it turns out it was. And I just wanted to go up to her and be like, girl, I was in the army too. If you've not watched Our Girl, I suggest you do because she is unreal in it and it's such a good series. Um, I feel like I've mentioned that on my YouTube channel before, but oh my God, I love Our Girl so much and I love Michelle Keegan. And that was that. So that's me religiously going to Pilates every day until I see her again. Guys, before we make some lunch quickly, I just wanted to show you a few bits that I picked up from Primark the other day. I have been waiting to show you these bits, but I've actually had to hold off because I am working with Primark in this part of the video. This is really super exciting. It's the first time I've been into Primark since they bought like, not Christmassy bits. Well yeah, I'd say it's the first time I've been in since they bought Christmassy bits out. I didn't do like a big Christmas haul or anything, but I just picked a few bits up that caught my eye and that I thought I could bring out over the winter period. I spent 82 pounds. Um, and I got a big mixture of stuff. I'm just gonna dip my hand in. It's a bit like a lucky dip because this was a few days ago now and I can't actually remember what I picked up. But first item I can see, we've got some earmuffs. A staple, a staple item I would say. Um, ah, oh my God, these are so soft. These are so, so soft. Um, I feel like you have to have your hair down with these though, but these are so cute with like a big puffer jacket, Christmas markets, oh my god. I get a pair of earmuffs every year, but they always seem to go missing, like I don't keep them, I don't know where they go. Yeah, these are the earmuffs that I picked up, these were £5 and they are so soft. This bit's really thin as well, which I quite like. Oh, kind of to go with the earmuffs, but like not matching because I didn't get the same colour. I got a scarf, this is the softest, softest scarf, it was eight pounds um let's take this off actually i mean i'll probably get a matching one for my earmuffs but guys it's officially coming into winter how scary i actually picked up some fairy lights i don't know if you guys remember when i used to live in the little village in north yorkshire i had fairy lights like everywhere at christmas time we had them around the stairs we had them like over the curtains and stuff so i picked up two packs of fairy lights which i'm gonna make super cozy in the lounge smelly wise i did pick up christmas bits because we're out of autumn, we're out of pumpkin season now, and I feel like we're going into more Christmassy winter season. So I picked up some um, oil diffusers. I feel like this would be a really cute Christmas stocking present as well. But yeah, I've got an oil diffuser, so I feel like these would be perfect for the next few months. And then again, you guys know I love a Y Company candle dupe. So this is what we've got here. How stunning is this? This was five pounds. That's unreal. That's even cheaper than B&M. How gorgeous is this? Another really cute present. Smells unreal too. Cinnamon and spice vanilla. I did actually get two more candles from the Christmassy department just because they smell so nice. There's something about like Christmas smells, cinnamon, spiced apple kind of smells that are absolutely unbelievable. These are gorgeous so I feel like these will go really nicely in our living room. They're kind of like gold orangey tint. Over at the jewellery and hair accessory bit I picked up some gold earrings. These are staple. I feel like these will go with everything. So these are obviously the big ones. You've got medium and then little small ones here. The small ones I probably wear like every day. Oh my God, the next bit, guys. No, I can't cope. I can't cope. <sighs> that actually just makes me want to weep looking at this. Can you cope? Because I absolutely can't. Can you imagine Bambi in this? I mean, she's probably already got a Christmas outfit. Like, I feel like Molly and Tommy would definitely have already picked her out a Christmas outfit, but but I'm gonna try and persuade them to let her wear this because this is so cute. I got it in actually um 12 to 18 months because she's a big baby. She's a big girl. Like this is definitely the right size for her. I looked at the one the size down and it was definitely too small, but this is absolutely no, it's got matching tights. Look at that, and a hat. 
Guys, I'm so excited to see her in this. I cannot wait. And it's your like my last two items. Um, I didn't get loads. I didn't go overboard because it's not fully Christmas yet. Do you know what I mean? But I picked up the viral Primark pyjamas. I think they're viral. Are they, I hope they're the right ones because that's highly embarrassing if they're not. But, but it's these gorgeous velvet material. Can you see that? They are so soft. I got the top in a large and the bottoms in a medium. I wanted them in white. There's like this white cream color, but it was all out of stock in like the larger sizes. And they also had it in black as well, but again, out of stock. But oh my God, I cannot wait. I might wear these tonight actually, or do I save them? No, what's the point in saving them? Literally, what's the point? I think I'm gonna wear these this evening. Oh my God, they're so soft. Literally so nice. That's everything I picked up like Christmas wise. I actually do. I did get some sunglasses as well, um, obviously not Christmas related, but I just got some like sports running glasses. How cool are these? I did not know Primark did these, but um, <laughs> but yeah, oh my God, I feel like I actually love everything I've picked up looking at it all now. Everything is perfect. Like it's not too early to put these candles out. It's not too early to light these diffusers. I'm really, really pleased with everything I've got. I think for me, Primark is a staple place to go to over Christmas because Christmas doesn't last forever. It's literally like a day. I mean, it's a month in the lead up to it. So you don't want to be forking out loads of money. Well, I certainly don't want to be forking out loads of money on like an expensive white company Christmas candle. Do you know what I mean? That's only going to like be lit for like a month. Or I'm not going to spend like loads of money on a really expensive cashmere scarf when I'm only going to wear it for a few months of the year. Does that make sense? Like Primark for me is a go-to place over Christmas and winter. But yeah, thank you so much them for working with me. I'm sure I'll pick up plenty more stuff over the upcoming months and I will keep showing you what I've got. But let's go and make some lunch because your girl is getting hungry. So guys, it is now lunchtime. I've in put my snacks. I had some chicken bites as well when I got in because I was hungry. Um, that was my breakfast. Oh, I've not actually input my um, breakfast this morning. Bagel. I know it's on here. Protein bagel. So there. You just because I've had it before, I don't need to scan it. So it's already there. So protein thin bagel. Add that. And I had peanut butter, which will already be on there. Um, this was the one I had. Things. So, gosh, peanut butter is so high. Anyway, let's add that. And then jam jam we will add some strawberry jam that was about 50 calories so i'm going to input my lunch now let's go back and go to lunch there we are again i just need to search these because i've already um scanned them before so i'm gonna have two eggs um here so i just add that focus two eggs i'm gonna have two heck sausages here, add that, Ooh, add that. I'm gonna have two bacon medallions. Bacon, that is um, the Asda ones, so that's them there. And I'm gonna have two thins. That's that one, so I'm just gonna go on it and I'm gonna add two. Um, yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna have for lunch. So I'm gonna have two thins, two eggs, just like a little basically bacon sausage and egg sandwich um 470 calories and it'll be quite high in protein because eggs sausages and the bacon they've all got a fair amount of protein in you can check your protein by going to the bottom and pressing nutrition and then this is how much protein i've had ignore the goal but i've had 75 grams of protein today um, which is fine i'm on track i'm aiming to have about 140 um so yeah i'm gonna make my lunch now and i will show you it after i'm starving if you follow me on instagram you will have seen me make this lunch a couple of times now but i feel like when you have something that works and that you're enjoying and that you look forward to eat why change it and this is mine at the minute so in that one i've got two chicken hex sausages and an egg which by the way oh my god i mentioned in my last video best purchase ever if you are a bit funny about eggs honestly get more expensive eggs get ones with like a golden yolk they taste so much better and so nice honestly i will never go back to like normal eggs now <laughs> not they're not all eggs but i will get more expensive eggs um and two bacon medallions and an egg in that one so yeah this is my little yummy lunch it is considerably much later and it's taken a lot for me to get into some gym clothes i'm not gonna lie <sighs> just because it's so dark like it's actually impossible when it's dark to want to like do stuff to want to do anything even like to want to go out and socialize 
I'm at a wedding tomorrow evening I did mention and like the thought of getting dressed and putting makeup on and going out when it's pitch black is terrifying. But I did manage to put a gym outfit on. I'm gonna have, what's the time? It's half five. So I'm gonna have a pre-gym snack because I can't go between lunch and dinner without anything. Um, I'm actually using this quite a bit later than I would normally and I would never normally go to the gym at this time because it's gonna be hell, so busy, utter chaos, but I haven't had a chance to go any other time today. So I'm gonna have to go to the gym at like six o'clock, half six. Oh, it's gonna be so gross. A snack I like to have before the gym sometimes or like mid afternoon before I do anything is, it's very light. It's just crackers, cottage cheese and some ham. So I'm gonna get those bits out of the cupboard and fridge now. Um, a few of you commented on my last video saying how this is the best cottage cheese ever. Guys, you weren't wrong. You fully weren't lying, you weren't messing. It's unreal. It's not like any normal cottage cheese. There's something about it. God, it's incredible. Why is it in such a small little pot though? Oh my God, whilst I'm here, this is looking at me, but finally, <laughs> this arrived today. My Cosmo Tips box arrived today. Well, it arrived ages ago, but it didn't get delivered here. Long story, it got delivered somewhere else. So I finally got this today and I can't wait to go through that later. I'm gonna have a proper pamper evening this evening after dinner. And yeah, I'm so excited to like go through all the bits. Obviously I've seen it before. Like I've seen the case, sorry, I'm like opening it amongst my ham and stuff, but I've not actually seen it with all the products in it. Let's open it up. Oh, it even smells nice. Like not that I can really smell it at the minute, but it smells so nice. How gorge, oh my God, I can't wait to go through everything. So proud of her, she absolutely killed it. Gorgeous little clip. Wow, might like that this evening as well. But yeah, let's not get distracted with that and putting off going to the gym any longer. <laughs> that is my super appetizing. A uh, little snack, high in protein, low in cows. But yeah, let's get this in me and then drag my ass to the gym. Right guys, I swear I am going to the gym, but before I do, someone please tell me why my almond milk makes my coffee curdle. That's twice now. Let me show you the better lighting. That's twice I've tried to make a coffee with this almond milk and it's like curdled and gone all gross. Doesn't actually look that bad there, but it really is bad. Um, I mean, I kind of still drank some of it because I needed a bit of a kick up the backside to get myself out. Um, but yeah, please, someone tell me why it's doing that. I even heated the milk up because I read that if you heat the milk up, um, it helps, but it didn't, it didn't help. But yeah, wow, oh, we're looking worse for wear. Um, I'm going to the gym. I'm going. I'm going to get my camera out when I can, but I probably won't film the whole session because it's going to be so busy and it's a long session this evening. Guys, I swear I am going. I am going, but I'm just making another, um, I'm just making another protein shake before I go because I've only had one of these today and I need to take a drink with me. And also, I've not had my vitamins yet, um, so I'm going to have, I'll probably just have these. Oh my God, I've only got two of these left. So I'm just going to have some apple cider vinegar gummies and then some hair skin and nail gummies because they're the only ones that are in front of me and my other ones are in the bathroom. Uh, two of these. Oh, that's three. Cool. Mmm. Mmm. So nice. So nice. And one. Well, yummy, yummy, yummy. Right, and now I'm going. Oh my god, it's half eight, well, 20 past eight, it's so late. I came here so late, guys. I literally said in my last vlog that I've not been doing that, and I have today. Oh my god, I just did 45 unbroken wall balls at the end of my session. I 
coach said to do at least 50 but I couldn't my arm just stopped working <laughs> oh my god that was so hard I'm so hungry and I've got one bar battery let's hope I've got a battery charge at home right I'm gonna go home and have some dinner I'm home guys I'm home oh I love being home does anyone else does anyone else just bloody love being at home because I do um I have a quick shower and then we will go and make some dinner together um i'm gonna put a hair mask in my hair today because i'm actually getting a blow dry tomorrow it's fancy for me isn't it <laughs> i've got a wedding tomorrow evening i think i've said that like three times this vlog i'm having a blow dry tomorrow afternoon um i literally just booked it last minute today so yeah i'm gonna chuck a hair mask in apologize to the hairdresser tomorrow um Quick shower and then we will go and make some yummy dinner. Guys, don't come for me on my appearance. Like, I'm really out here in all my glory. Completely barefaced. Um, just done my skincare, hair mask in. But look at the pajamas. Oh my god. I insist that you go to Primark and get them. For, for Primark, they are expensive. Like, they're £28 for the full, like, 14 for the top, 14 for the bottoms. But they are the softest pajamas I have ever put on in my entire life. And I'm not exact. Oh, I'm not exaggerating one bit. I fully am not. I can't believe it. I actually think I need to go back to Primark and wait till they restock in the other colours. If they do restock, to be honest, I'll just get the other colours in the smaller size because this is like way too big for me anyway. But oh my god! In fact, no, don't go. Don't go because then there won't be any left for me, and I need more. But oh my god. Guys, they're so soft, I'm so happy. Right, I've put the oven on. I'm not gonna talk about the time. We're not gonna talk about what time it is. Um, just forget about that. But I put the oven on. I'm gonna have salmon. Shock, shock horror. Um, I think I had salmon. <laughs> Guys, I think I'm having the exact same dinner I had in my last video. What did I have then? Salmon. The only difference is I'm having sweet potato instead of like white potato. Oh, I've not thought this through. It's not very imaginative. I'm really sorry. Last night I had chicken. The night before I had salmon and the night before that I had chicken. So I'm kind of alternating. It just so happens that tonight is a salmon night. So I've got my, the rest of my broccoli. I've got three little carrots, which we're going to chop up. And I've got, oh, what's the day? Oh, we've got a day left. I've got my last salmon fillet goes out of date tomorrow. So I have to have that tonight. And I've also got, do, 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 where are you? Um, two sweet potatoes left now. Do I want one or two? I'll just have one, I think. Um, do I want it like a jacket potato or do I want it mashed? I might just put it in the microwave, it's so easy. <laughs> yeah, sod it, I'm gonna do that. God, sorry guys, it is quite boring. So I'm just gonna have this in the microwave. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna put my salmon fillet in the oven for 20 minutes and I'm gonna boil some veg. Wow, we out here living best life. Okay, whilst my salmon is cooking and my veg is boiling, I just thought we could go through this. So with my dinner and everything that I've had today, that is how many calories I've had. So I've had 2,000. Um, ignore the goal. I don't really know why I've got that there, to be honest. Um, but that probably is a little bit too little because um, obviously I've done quite a long session this evening. Let's let this focus and then let's look at protein. I've got a little pudding as well that I'm going to have. Yeah, so I've hit my protein goal already, um, which is great. And I'm also going to have, I'll show you what I'm going to have after dinner. So after dinner, I am just going to have this rice pudding, protein pudding. Let me show you what I mean by scanning it. Add food, scan barcode. Okay, so you go on scan barcode and you literally just, you scan it. It should come up. There we go, searching. And it will come up with exactly what it is on there. And then you literally just press tick. And it'll add it. So that is probably a perfect amount of calories I've had today. And that, guys, <laughs> is my very bland, boring, basic dinner. But I love it. I will put ketchup on it. Um, and I will put some salt and pepper on it. But... Yeah, that is me. I feel like a little bit of a deja vu here. This was definitely the same as my last video, except they weren't white potatoes. Um, but that is my dinner tonight. So I am now going to do the classic Gossip Girl and eat this. If you are an avid watcher, you will notice what I'm doing right now. And you'll think, oh, she's caved. Well, guys, 
I'm stacking the dishwasher. I caved because you were all like, why on earth would you not use a dishwasher? Um, and oh my God, you're right. You are absolutely right. Biggest game changer ever. I'm obsessed. Why did I not use it before? I was being so stubborn. God, you must have all been like, what is wrong with that girl? Just use the bloody dishwasher. I thought I was just saving water and saving electricity, but wow, how did I do this before? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stack the dishwasher, have a little tidy up, have my rice pudding, protein dessert thing and then head to bed guys thank you so much for clicking on this video i'm gonna get myself into bed now i've had my pudding i've just had a cup of tea it's 11 o'clock <laughs> that's way past my bedtime normally i'm in bed by like nine half nine sometimes i'm not gonna lie i really hope you enjoyed watching my very basic what i eat in a day and i really hope you enjoyed the primark haul as well i forgot about that i'll have another video out for you guys very soon i promise but thank you so much for clicking on this video and i'll see you very very soon in my next one bye guys